Got some good athletes in here. Got some good athletes in here getting their butts whipped by people not as athletic as them. How is that possible? Technique. Who said it? Technique. Yeah, technique, of course. Because if you're not technical, well, that means they're stronger than you. They're using leverage better. They're not getting as tired as quickly, right? On the other hand, we got some guys who are more technical than their opponent that are losing to them. Why? Athleticism. Because they are two important components in becoming the great wrestler. You must be super technical and you better optimize your technique system. And you better be a super good athlete. If you're not hitting the weights, you're soon going to get beat by someone who is. And if you are not uh, studying technique, you're soon going to run into someone who's just trickier than anyone you've ever wrestled before. Anyone ever wrestled someone that was just like super tricky and you don't even know, you don't even understand why you can't beat them? How annoying is that? Very, 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 very the most bad annoying thing. My coach who mentored me in college, like. He didn't even look like a tough guy. He looked like a wimp, and he beat the hell out of me every day. How is that possible? Oh, I learned the lesson. Technique. technique. You watch my technique? Is it good? Yeah? Okay, that's good. You learn other things? How do you know if you learn something that I don't teach, how do you know if it's better or worse than what I teach? If it works, what's the problem with if it works? Are you wrestling anyone as good as I wrestle? No. So it might work because you only wrestle scrubs. And it might be easier. And what I teach might be harder. It might take longer to get, McDermott. Right? Right. All right? So that's one thing to think about. Who am I wrestling? Am I really truly wrestling the best guys out there? If not, maybe I can't trust my feedback. But, do I know everything about wrestling? No. Am I the smartest wrestler ever of all time? No. Nope. Smarter than everyone else? Nope. Of course not. I said no a little too fast there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's right. If you were the smartest wrestler, you would just beat all of them. I can't beat all of you, but that's not the point. Who is it? Hey! The way we figure it out is you talk with us. I'm your coach. I can, I, what happens when I see a move smarter than what I do? It becomes what I do. I'm not an idiot. I'm not like, oh, this is the only way to wrestle. I'm not going to change. Wrestling is in a constant state of evolution. Anyone know what that means? What's that? What's technique keeps evolving mean? What's it mean? Say it loud. It keeps changing. It keeps changing and getting better and getting more accurate. So someone comes up with a new idea and all of a sudden they start using that to beat you. And then you come up with your own defense to it that you use to defend against it. And that's happening between hundreds of thousands of people every day across thousands of practices. The sport is always evolving and the next generation is always better than the previous. The best wrestlers in the world right now probably aren't the smartest at wrestling in the world. You know who's probably the smartest? Some old guy who's 80 years old who's got a cane. Who? You think Dan Gable? He might be. Who knows? A lot of guys out there who are, who are getting older now that don't have the bodies to wrestle anymore. You young guys, you got the bodies. You better pay attention, you better listen, and you better think for yourself. Hands up if you came here before practice and did work on your own. What'd you do? You lifted weights, how long did you lift for? Okay, better than nothing. Who else did something on their own before practice? DeAndre was doing it. DeAndre did a little bit of footwork today. Okay, what'd you do before practice? You went on a bike ride? For conditioning or just for enjoy enjoyment? For conditioning, okay, good. What'd you do? Good. Cosmo, tell them what you did today. Lifted. Lifted. I lifted for like an hour and 45 minutes today. I'm getting jacked. I'm going to you, bro. Piece of the champ. Why aren't you lifting weights? I do. 
What, what are you waiting for? You're at the perfect time to get started. You know how much bet you know what type of jump level jump you would get if you would lift weights? A big one. Why do you think I paid for those weights? You think they were cheap? No, not even You think I paid for them for me or for you guys? For you guys. I take advantage of them. But I want my guys strong. Are you too young to lift weights? You don't know? You gotta ask mom and dad. If mom and dad will let you lift weights, then you can lift weights with supervision. If they won't, well, we can make it happen anyway through body weight exercises. Who knows a body weight exercise? Someone tell me my favorite body weight burpees. exercise. Burpees. The burpees, my favorite one. Push-ups, pull-ups, squat jumps, planks, sit-ups. You gotta lift and get stronger. The difference is when you lift weights, you deal with raw power. Burpees are never gonna get you as strong as like doing a max bench press or a deep squat is gonna get you. And that will unlock all of a sudden positions that used to be like, could go either way to all of a sudden, boom, mine, I win. Lifting weights was one of the major differences that took me from decent in 10th grade to like starting to get it in 11th grade. The other thing about being stronger is you learn moves much quicker and your body just res responds much faster. Gotta be strong, gotta be technical. Good practice today. I'll see you guys next week. One, two, three.